Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today we are going to paint another acrylic portrait on canvas. I will take you to a live nude drawing class here in Berlin. There will be some other Berlin strolls and I'll also draw in my sketchbook for a little bit. So I'm happy if you will join me. I hope you enjoy the video and I would say let's get right into painting. Oh, also please excuse my voice. I caught a bit of a cold and so I hope it doesn't bother you <laughs> as much. So my painting process is that I normally start with a preliminary drawing and an underpainting, but this time something quite unfortunate happened, so just look for yourself. Seems like I accidentally erased my entire preliminary drawing. <sighs> Great. So I've been wondering why the pencil went away so easily. Mm, and I realized I used a watercolor pencil, which is supposed to be reactivated by water. Yeah, clearly I didn't pay enough attention to what pencil I'm using. I'm still kind of art blocked and I tried all day to collect myself enough to start at least something. And now in the evening already, I finally got out the paint. I've been ready to paint and now there's nothing left on my canvas anymore, which kind of sucks. It's it's annoying. Okay, you know what? I just thought, okay, now we are going to make the best out of it. And since I've been thinking a couple of times that I would love to be less dependent on very detailed preliminary drawings, uh, we are trying to do it with with paint. I mean, yes, this is also pretty detailed, to be fair. <laughs> but we gotta start somewhere, right? One step at a time. Also, by using a bigger brush, I kind of force myself to work a little less detailed. Um, I mean, it's just how I taught myself to draw and to paint. So another approach is not that easy, um, yeah. Okay, that is what we are going to work with right now. Sorry for making such a big jump here, but the first steps are the most difficult for me. And sometimes when I have to concentrate, I can't film the process. It's <laughs> too much, I have to be by myself. So I'm trying to tell you what I did when I started. Um, I always try to block in some of the bigger shapes and some of the colors. And I also like to start with the eyes because I'm most comfortable with them. I would say the nose is the hardest part for me, but a lot of the times I also struggle a bit with mixing the right colors for the skin tones I want. Um, for getting the values right and I know I have quite a specific look when it comes to portraits which is nice I mean it's always cool to know or to hear when people say I would recognize if a painting is painted by you because you can see that so I'm happy about that but a lot of the times I'm still struggling and my skin tones and how I paint skin started because I wasn't able to do it in another way. I mean, that it happened per accident, I would say. I guess you hear that quite often if you try to find an art style yourself, but an art style is something that develops over time by practicing and trying different things. And also, there are some accidents that can turn out quite convenient, I would say. And I like how, how the faces look um, and the vibe they give off. 
but also I'm still struggling a lot with finding the right values. But in the end I would say I see some improvement with this portrait in comparison to my previous portrait, so that's good. Recently I booked a live nude drawing class with a friend, long pose class, and it was very very nice. I will tell you more about it in just a second. Okay, here we have last night's drawings. Um, these two were the first two poses. I think we had 10 minutes and you can see that. I'm not very good when it comes to draw very quickly because I'm very trained to draw more details and I tend to get lost in details. So I explicitly booked the long pose course. And here, as you can see, I had way more time. Uh, this one was the third pose and I think we had 20 minutes for that. Um, this was 30 minutes and this one as well. And I think this one is my favorite drawing from the evening. I like this one too, but I think the face is a little bit off. Um, yeah, so I think I would pick this one as my favorite. And I'm always so impressed with, first of all, the confidence to model naked for strangers to draw you and to hold poses like this for 20 minutes or longer. I think this is a workout in itself. <laughs> Um, and it takes so much patience. The evening was so nice. They played very calming music and I was very much in the zone, I have to say, and it's very rare for me to be that much in the moment. I forgot everything else around me. So I would definitely do it again. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend. It was so nice, really. I actually don't really like this painting. Maybe I need some time to befriend it more. <laughs> I don't know, it's just very unusual for me, especially the motive. Um, but as I mentioned it quite a couple of times in my latest videos, and I also did specific videos on that topic, um, is that I am majorly art blocked and I shared a lot of tips on what I do against it, my thoughts on it, realizations I had and so on and so forth. I will link them for you, um, but that's why I also try to draw things uh, or paint things and motives that are out of my comfort zone, that are untypical for me stuff like that um, to first do at least something and second to yeah try the things and hope to yeah 
get some new inspiration, I would say. Before I went to this museum, a friend asked me if I wanted to come with her and I said yes, of course, why not? But I didn't know exactly what that museum is about, so my friend told me it was some kind of photography exhibition and there has been some photography that has been exhibited, but the museum exhibits especially objects and artworks from the period of Art Deco and I didn't expect it but it was so inspiring to me. I went around and I was like taking a hundred of photographs of patterns and objects um, to draw or to turn into illustrations later on so that was such a nice feeling to be that inspired by something. Yeah, yeah that was very nice. Yeah, but also I think I'm signing off for today. If you're still here, thank you so much. Um, it means a lot to me. Thank you for choosing to spend your time with me. And of course, I hope to see you in my next one. Consider subscribing to the channel and I hope you have a nice rest of your day. Goodbye.